Okay. Hi, my name is Myrna Bates, and I've been a uh, foster grandparent kinship for uh, over five years in uh, Abbott House in the Bronx. I have a seven-year-old grandson. And the reason I came today to uh, FPA Foundation is because uh, because something needs to be done. So they need to monitor this these uh, foster homes. It's horrible what we're going through here. And, and I've learned they're breaking the rules in the trainings. When I take these trainings and I keep complaining, I've been to Irvington, the headquarters of Abbott House. Last year I went three or four times. I spoke to Mr. Rodriguez. Uh, I spoke to Ms. Diane Pepitone, I spoke to Ms. Uh, Diane Kelly. I, I keep knocking on doors and, and bringing the uh, problem and the issues I'm going through with, uh, as a foster grandparent. And these uh, case planners, I, I've had seven different case planners in, in, in three years. In, in the last five months, I've had three different case planners. So they're very disrespectful. Um, they're very disrespectful. Uh, they, they, uh, this, this one I have, I, I said, you need to be my friend because I quoted Mr. Efrain Rodriguez from a training. I said, you, we need to be friends. You're my case planner. And it was incredible and unfortunate to hear him say, uh, this is not a, a thing about friendship. This is a business. And uh, I, I, I don't think Abbott House is, uh, is uh, doing what's possible to, to uh, I'm sorry, to take care of my grandson, like to uh, look after him, like uh, protect him. And they just keep covering up for the mother, for the biological mother. She disappears like for months, like six months. Then she doesn't come to the visits. And when she shows up, they just work with her. They work with her, and they, uh, I have proof they have, they have uh, covered up substance abuse. They have uh, f uh, filed false reports to the court that she complies with everything when she's not. And it's incredible. Something needs to be done. Like, these agencies need to be, these agencies need to be scrutinized. I, I'm sorry, pardon my English. Like, they, they, you need to investigate. You, you need to investigate this, these agencies. We keep talking, we keep bringing the problems to the uh, uh, director, assistant director, the, uh, the, well, listen, I went to Irvington, I went to the headquarters, and they just like, okay, we'll take care of it, and they do nothing, nothing. And it's a, it's a security issue too in the agency. It, the cops ha has, have been there a few times. I told this to Mr. Rodriguez. We, we fear our safety because the biological mothers are very, uh, very disrespectful. Like they want a fist fight. I was, I was throwing a glass of water to my face in a, pe in a meeting, the, uh, p the family planning me meeting. Right there in front of Ms. Uh, Ivy, Faria Ivy, in front of Ms. Barbara. And it, it was incredible. It, I, I must say I threw her with my cold coffee, but she threw me with the water to my face because they told it that her rights were going to be terminated because at last somebody was doing something. But then they, they, uh, this, this case planner I had that was helping me so much, all of a sudden she's not there anymore. They, uh, they let her go. And now I have this new one that has been disrespectful to me and uh, has called me and has talked to me in like in a hostile way because every time you, you uh, like uncover what they're doing wrong and then they, uh, they, uh, they uh, treat you with, with disrespect and they, they look at us like we're ignorant, that like we're stupid people that don't know, don't know our rights and I, I just told them everything I know, I know because of the trainings I'm getting from you, from, from Abbott House. When I go to these trainings, uh, I, I learn my rights. But then I, I, I told Mr. I, I told this training person that came, I said, you are breaking your rules. Abbott House is breaking their own rules uh, from what I get in these trainings. So I'm just begging for help. I'm begging for um, scru scrutiny, like somebody needs to do something. Somebody needs to do something, and, I, and I'm glad. I, I thank God I just put the news to find out about the weather, and I saw this rally with the uh, F FPA. And this is why I'm here. And I have, I have hope with all these videos I've seen. And I feel 
like much better. I'm going to so much uh, emotional distress with Abbott House. It's been incredible. It's an emotional distress I've been going through. Uh, we feel like we're the ones that are wrong, and and it's it's it's, it's incredible because we're he's my grandson. I adore him. I give my life for him. And the mother is, is not complying with anything. And then we feel like we're the bad guys. Th this is how these agencies make us feel. Like we're the, we're the bad ones. And then they uh, work so much towards the, the mother that keeps um, failing. She, she keeps, she, she doesn't comply. They try with her. They try so much in the past. And she doesn't comply. She does nothing. And something needs to be done. Like we're not being respected. We're not being respected. We're not being appreciated. Uh, pardon my English. I wish I, I could express myself so much better in Spanish. But I'm trying so hard to, to tell you that it's disgusting. Period.